Tubers, our stuff for you today. We'll be looking at a modified spreader. You can mount to the back of your tractor. We'll be taking a closer look at this setup I have created. It works great for spreading salt where there are no wheels to skid. And of course it works nice for fertilizer too. This could be easily adapted to most any machine. Here we have the one pin attachment which adapts it to mine. To turn it on there's a switch on a dash and one on the spreader. It gets plugged in back here. So on the upper framework there, uh, the one pin is what holds it on. For the lower, I got the U channel that just sets over the drawbar. To keep the salt from going under the tractor and all over the back, I got a plastic wheel tub that I had laying around off a Chevrolet car. Wiper motors have wiring for the low and high speed. For this purpose, I just use the high speed. And then I got a switch up here to turn it on and off. And of course, this is your control for how much material is coming out. And we're going to run the motor once I'll show you how this is. That wiper motor, that was out of a 1985 Ford Escort. You can probably get one in a junkyard probably nowadays for $5, $10. And that just runs the axle where the wheels were on when I cut them off. Just a little bolt through there and that's about it. Not much to it. Now I popped this all apart here to give you a little better idea on how this is made just in case you'd like to make one. Now on this bracket right here I had to cut off the leg and mount this bracket that that 85 Escort wiper motor was originally on. All wiper motors have a different style of bracket. This one's kind of an angled, it wouldn't be a good choice. Now for the drive that runs the axle, what you do is you take this little arm off. And you just cut this part off right here. Get yourself a chunk of one inch inside diameter water pipe and weld that onto that arm right there. When you're all done welding all of that, grind it on the grinder a little bit and before you paint it, it would look almost like as if it was made in a lathe. To access, to put, take it on and off, you have the nut inside there, deep well socket, for any kind of servicing you'd ever have to do. Now to accommodate the gap, you're going to have, for where the axle would go in here, what I have is a set collar, and I drill the hole all the way through it for a bolt with a nylock nut. And I had to drill your half inch set collar out to 5 eighths to accommodate it for this use. You might have to file your bracket on a little bit, so when you're all done, your hub will fit through it without having to take it on and off with the motor on the machine. Yeah, got a little tip for you tubers. Wear your scraps when you remodel a house or wear your shop. Save them. They really make some excellent wire ties. And you can reuse them. This is one more little accessory I made for this unit. And you can put it in where the screw goes here. And this ties underneath here. And then you can shoot fertilizer under the trees without having to go all over the lawn. Here's a sneak peek of some upcoming tractor attachment videos. A little bit of fresh paint when you get done building or modifying these attachments can give them that store-bought look. Well, I hope these videos give you some ideas to make your equipment that a bit nicer. But hey tubers, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to rate the video and hope to see you back here again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.